Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Yami, your Latina next door, and today I have another thrift haul video for you guys. Lately, I have been scoring some really good deals at my local Goodwill, and this time is gonna be no different. I was actually um, on my way to run a few errands and I decided to stop by, and I was so glad I did because this week I scored some really good deals. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the first items. They are also my most inexpensive. I got these two candle holders. They are actually made out of wood. They look, you know, they go together, you can see. Um, I like their shape, they're so well done. Um, they were only 99 cents a piece and they're a little beat up. I might have to sand them down and give them a nice brand new finish as you can see right here. They're a little uh, distressed, but I do like that they're, um, there's no damage to them and there's two of them. So I thought these were such a cute buy. All right, so I have some more candlesticks for you guys. I got really lucky this time and got some really fun ones. These are actually brass, and these were $1.91 a piece. I got two of them, and it looks like they were spray painted, um, like an oil rub bronze. And I have a really good idea for these, a really cute DIY. Um, so I'm going to save these, and I cannot wait to redo them because um, I think they're going to be really nice for some shelves and add, you know, add some candles to them. But what I'm going to do is I am going to spray paint them and get, you know, rid of some of these chips that they have right here. And uh, yeah, so I am going to recreate something new with these. One last candlestick for you guys. It's this one right here. Again, it's not very pretty. It's not my style. However, I like the shape. It was in really good condition. It's ceramic. This one cost me $1.91 as well. And um, yeah, I think it's just gonna be really cute. Um, buy some books on top of a bookshelf near a little mirror or something. So I can't wait to upcycle this one as well. Okay, enough with the candlesticks. My next item is a bowl. It's a cute little, or a vase, I guess you can call it. But um, just depends on how you're gonna use it. Um, so I, I found this. This was also $1.91. And I like the shape. Since I was getting so many candle holders and stuff, I figured, you know, I needed something different to put on my shelves, and I thought this was perfect. It's not in terrible condition. It just needs a couple of, you know, little touches here and there of maybe paint to fill that stuff in. I might just leave it the way it is because I actually like the color. And um, as you can see, it's got these little ridges and it's got a lot of really nice texture. So I figured that on top of some books or next to some greenery, I could put some greenery inside. I'm not sure yet, but. I think this is also a really cute deal for $1.91. Now this time I was also able to score another basket. I am really liking finding baskets lately. Um, and I think my husband's gonna, you know, go nuts with my shopping. But I could not let this one go. <laughs> this one, so pretty and so round. And look how big it is. This is another $1.91. Um, and it's in perfect condition. I don't know if I'm gonna hang it up on the wall or if I'm gonna use it in like a coffee. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> or use it on top of a coffee uh, table. But this was another one and I'm gonna leave it this color. Um, I think it's, it's perfectly fine just the way it is. I might even drape some fabric over it. Um, but yeah, another really good basket in the basket section. So I thought I really lucked out on this one. All right, my next one is this mirror right here. And I've been looking for a mirror for a while now so that I can do or try out this little DIY that I have in my head. And I don't wanna mess up a nice mirror. So I found this one for $5.95. And um, I gotta take the back apart a little bit. The cardboard's coming out right here, if you can see. But I'm gonna be painting this and doing some really nice details in the front and hopefully it'll come out and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But I'm glad I found this. At least if I mess this one up, it only cost me $6 and I didn't have to buy an expensive mirror elsewhere. So that hopefully I can do it in other mirrors later on in the future. Actually, hold up. I already did that mirror and this is what it looks like now. This was my very first look for less challenge dupe. And if you guys want to see it, I'll make sure to link below and above so you guys can check it out. Now back to our regular programming. 
Okay, so my last item is this oh, big picture ledge. <laughs> and I'm saying big because it's probably not gonna fit all in the screen. Nope, not at all. It's got a little bit of a loose piece in it. <laughs> Okay, so I found two of these, and the other one, I'm just not even gonna show it because it's actually bigger than this one. But these are picture ledges, and somebody obviously didn't want them. They're a little beat up, but it's okay because I'm gonna paint them and distress them. And I've been wanting picture ledges for a while because I wanna be able to just, you know, change out photos whenever I feel like it and put new ones in and not have to worry about, you know, taking them down from the walls and putting them back up, and I think this would be really nice to have. These cost me $4.50 and if you can see, pretty substantial and look how long this thing is. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Oh, and let me know which one of these pieces was your favorite in the comments below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and link to some other of my videos right here. That way you guys can check those out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, adios. I swear, the humidity today. Look at this. Did you ever have one of those days where your hair just doesn't do what it's supposed to do? I think my little one just won.